What's up, Skate Fam? Welcome to another episode of D's Skates. I'm your host, David Lolliette. I want to take a moment to address a request that I've gotten continuously since I began making tutorials on this channel. So many people have said to me, David, I want to know how you do everything that you do so smoothly. How do you make your transitions between all of your moves look so effortless and seamless? Please make a tutorial on smooth maneuvering. This is something that I feel is a little difficult to explain, but I'm going to give it a shot. This is more of a conceptualized idea than anything I can teach you in a tutorial. But I believe that smooth maneuvering or learning the concept in skates is extremely helpful to any type of skating that you want to do no matter what you're training for, if you want to speed skate, if you just want to urban skate and skate around your neighborhood, if you're trying to learn to jam skate, or especially if you want to play hockey or do something like hockey or roller derby that requires a lot of quick change in direction. And in general, it's just important to the learning process of skating. It'll make you feel more confident when you look like you know what you're doing. So I feel like there's already quite a bit of information on my channel that actually covers this. And in this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how you can watch my other videos and kind of put that together in order to have at least most of the tools that you will need in order to make your skating smoother. So my thoughts on this are, First, as you probably know, I have a video on the six points of skating edge theory. If you haven't seen that video, you should scroll down at the end of this one and click the link that I'm going to leave in the description and go check it out. I, I have a handful of elementary power skating drills in it that will help you develop a better manipulation of your directional skills. and help you to train all of the balance points in your feet better. Actually, there are a couple of videos that I have covering this and I'll leave the links to everything that I think you will need in the description. So don't forget to check that out at the end of this video. So what is power skating? Power skating is what we call the style of skating that hockey players train in. It teaches us to skate correctly and effectively in many different positions in many different directions. So if you notice when hockey players are chasing each other and trying to steal the puck from one another, they're always switching their feet up really quickly and chasing each other in every which direction all over the place. And it's like, almost like they don't need to be facing the direction they're going. They just need to think, I wanna go in that direction and their feet propel them to do that. And the reason that they're capable of that is because they use power skating drills to train them to go around different obstacles and to chase the puck and follow opponents even when the opponent is really sneaky and smooth and quick. And I know you're probably thinking, well David, what does that have to do with learning to do smooth maneuvers when I'm skating around my neighborhood? And the answer is, in order to look smooth whenever you skate, you have to feel like your skates are as natural as your tennis shoes. And what do those hockey players look like? They look like they're very in their element, like everything that they do is natural, just like you probably feel whenever you're running around in your tennis shoes. So I'm guessing if you can skate forward in any level of skill, you can probably walk backward and you can probably step over your feet and walk sideways and maybe even jog backward. You can run forward. You're just comfortable. You could probably run a circle facing the same direction. But can you do that in your skates? That is the question. So in order to do this in your skates, it's important to learn how to control your edges and how your edges function in order to manipulate your directional control when you're in skates. And of course, it's important to remember that whenever we start walking, none of us are good at it. All of us 
when we first stand up, we're probably holding on to walls and walkers and couches and chairs and anything that we can do to help us stabilize our balance. And then we're determined little babies. You know, we're just, we're struggling, our knees are wobbling. We have to learn to walk by first forcing ourselves to stand up and then taking step after step after step. We just never quit walking. We spend our entire lives, if we wanna get anywhere, walking. So you, depending on your age, have probably taken thousands, hundreds of thousands, or maybe even millions of steps in the course of your life. So you're very comfortable with walking. And that's what power skating does. It gives you lots of tools to practice, lots of drills to practice, so that you can do them over and over and over and over in order to learn to skate in different directions. Is this beginning to come together as one whole picture in your mind? Let's take the simplest example, skating backwards. Anyone who can skate forward wants to know how to be able to skate backward. But the trick is to be able to transition from skating forward to backward after you have learned to both skate forward and skate backward, right? If you are skating forward and then you stop and take tiny little steps to turn around and then start pushing yourself backward, then that doesn't demonstrate the ability to maneuver smoothly in your skates. It demonstrates that you still have a step in between skating forward and backward that you have not mastered. So the first instinct that most people have is, well, I can skate forward and then I can whip around and keep going backward. And that kind of works. But the problem is that in thinking about how momentum works, you're skating forward, right? You whip your body around and of course, your momentum continues in the direction that you are pushing it. So as you transition to the backward skating, you're actually throwing your momentum around the opposite direction. And then you have to start pushing in order to skate backwards. So you're going forward smoothly, you whip around, and there's a pause, and you lose some of that momentum. And then you have to push more to get going backward. So the remedy for this is to add a third step in the middle, and that is the ability to skate sideways. If you learn to skate sideways, then you're skating forward. You step into the sideways position, and then you step into the backward position. And so at all times, you're opening up a pathway for your momentum to continue traveling in the same direction without ever having to throw it in another direction and use it and waste that energy. And that means that you will have a smooth transition from forward to backward. And it looks like you never even skipped a beat. You just naturally were skating forward and all of a sudden you were backward. That's just the simplest example of the idea of smooth maneuvering in skating. There are a ton of other examples that I could give but in short, in order to do that one, you have to learn to skate forward, learn to skate sideways, and then learn to skate backward. And when you have all three of those things, you do them over and over and over and over and over and over until you have them down, until they're comfortable, until they're natural and they feel smooth. And you start by doing them slow and making sure that everything that you do is correct and that you're doing things on one side that you're doing on the other side. You don't wanna be pushing with one foot and never pushing with the other, forward or backward. And you wanna be able to skate sideways in both directions and to be able to step easily into position just how you need to be so that you don't lose any momentum. And once you've mastered all three of those concepts separately, then you can put each step together and again, you start over and you do it slowly and you pay attention to whether you're doing it correctly and then you do it over and over and over and over until you've mastered it, until it looks smooth. Is it starting to come together now? I'll give you another example. This is the move, I, I don't know the name of this move, but I love to do this drill. I call it the BASA. And the reason I call it the BASA 
is because I learned it from watching Besa, the skating coach of the Boston Bruins, throw it around in clinics and teach it to professional hockey players. And I noticed that a lot of even the pro hockey players that he teaches this move to, these guys struggle with this move because even in you know training power skating a lot, many of them still have plenty of deficiencies in their ability to change direction and skate on each individual edge of their skate. This move is a more advanced transition, right? You start out, but it's the same basic concept as transitioning from forward to backward. You start out skating forward, and then really, when you transition, you're skating sideways and you go around a cone, and then you transition to backward, right? Well, with, with Besa's version of this, he is skating forward and then seemingly whips around onto one foot skating backward and he draws kind of a C around that cone and then transitions back to skating forward and then flips around the other way and draws a C with the other foot skating backward. And the trick to this is one, you have to learn skating forward, sideways and backward. And then two, you have to learn how to skate on one foot and then you have to learn how to draw a tight circle on that one foot while skating backward, which again utilizes the inside front edge of the skate. So you have to master your balance on that point of the skate and you should do drills that challenge you to balance on that edge. There was a point in time where I couldn't do this drill. I saw Besa do it and I was amazed by it and I tried to do it and I was awful at it. And when I finally got decent at it, well, I could really only do it on one side. My, my left side is my strong side. Even though I'm right-handed with legs and skating, my left side is my strong side. So I could transition and skate around my cones using my left leg easily. But when I got to the right leg, I would swing way out around the cones. And so I just had to make myself skate backward and try to draw a circle with my right foot. And I did that over and over and over until I made it feel more natural. And now I don't struggle with it nearly as much. And it looks smoother whenever I do it. It, it makes me feel like I know more of what I'm doing whenever I execute this drill. So just understand that whenever you see me in my videos and I'm skating around in different directions and juking off of things and you know jumping off of curbs and skating sideways around light poles and stuff like that this, this is just my ability to maneuver like that is just a long-standing combination of learning many 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 drills and doing them over and over and over and over until they feel natural and then putting myself in situations where I and doing things where I have to transition from one position to the other quickly, or I'll make a game when I'm skating to challenge myself to be able to go from one position to the other quickly and smoothly. And whenever I notice that I struggle with something or that I can't do something well, I make up a drill that challenges me to get over whatever problem I'm having and get rid of that deficiency in my balance and in my in my overall ability. This is unfortunately not something that I can just give you with one tutorial. You will need to watch tons of tutorials and I would even recommend checking out other channels that you enjoy that have to do with skating by other YouTubers that teach how to skate and you don't even have to watch videos of only inline skating if you enjoy inline skating. People who do quad skating and ice skating have things to offer you even if you don't go and use their medium. Even if you choose to only stick with your preferred medium, you can still learn from other skaters of other styles just by watching how they skate and what they do and listening to the drills that they set up for their niche of skating and placing yourself in, in a position where you have to learn different ways of maneuvering. And then again, do these drills over and over and over. I can't say that enough, over, 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 over.
do them over and over. It's so important and make sure again that you do them very slowly. Build up your comfort with them. Then you can do them quickly. Then you can make them yours. You can have better control over everything that you're doing. That is the most basic explanation that I can give you of how to learn the concept of smooth maneuvering in your skates. I hope that this video helped put that into perspective a little better for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below this video and I will be happy to discuss with all of you my thoughts and your thoughts on the concept of smooth maneuvering and how to get better at skating and what drills you might need in order to challenge yourself and help yourself take the next step to getting smooth, to becoming a more confident skater. If you like this video and you feel like you learned something and you got some value from it, please click the like button, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around and make sure that you get notifications for all of my upcoming skating tutorials that cover inline skating, quad skating, and very soon in 2020, more ice skating, make sure that you scroll down, click the subscribe button, and click the bell so that you get notified about every video that comes out. Thanks for watching this episode of D Skates. I greatly appreciate your support, and I will see you the next time I lace up.